Good morning. My name is Hans Panschels. I'm the former head of the orthodontic department, University of Gießen in Germany. This presentation is about a 32-year follow-up study of herb therapy. It is a joint study of the universities of Gießen in Germany and Malmö in Gothenburg in Sweden. Subjects of the study. The patient sample was the same as that of a 1982 study, 22 consecutively treated herbs patients were analyzed before and after treatment. They were recalled to the Malmö faculty 32 years later. 14 subjects participated in the follow-up examination. The study comprised of four publications. Paper 1 deals with tooth position and occlusion. Paper 2 addresses the problem of mandibular incisor segment. Paper 3 is about the long-term skeletofacial growth changes. In Paper 4 considers the possible occurrence of TMJ disorders. The two first papers are published this year in the AJO DO. The last paper is accepted for publication. In my presentation I will concentrate on Paper 3. The paper has a title Late Adult Skeletofacial Growth After Adolescent Herb Therapy, a 32-year longitudinal follow-up study. Times of examination of the patients. Before treatment, after treatment, six years after treatment at the age of 20 years when radius union had occurred and 32 years after treatment at the age of 46 years. Method. Analysis of superimposed lateral head films. Before treatment in black, after treatment in red, 6 years after treatment in blue, and 32 years after treatment in yellow. The most striking result of the study was late adult growth from 20 to 46 years of age occurred in all 14 subjects, from blue to yellow. Here the individual cases 1 to 8 showing the late adult growth changes in every single subject. And here the subjects 9 to 14. The clinical long-term implications of the results were skeletofacial growth after the age of 20 years and radius union is a reality and should be considered in post-treatment retention, tooth implantology, and orthognatic surgery. Finally, I would like to thank my co-workers Christo Bjerklin and Hanna Salen and Katja Herschen from the University of Malmö and Ken Hansen and Begitta Dinskog Stockland from the University of Gothenburg. I hope you will enjoy the printed paper in the American Journal January issue. Thank you for your attention.